Okay, I've made my announcements. Kevin, can you give us an overview, please? Yeah, I mean, congratulations to LSU. They certainly earned it today. Um, a really good team that played, you know, one of their best games all year at the right time. And, you know, tip your cap to them. Offensively, they we, we didn't really have an answer for them on the mound today. Um, I think the, this these last three games... You know, we didn't get as much as we probably needed to out of our starters, which put a little bit too much pressure on our bullpen early in games. And and we were probably playing with fire the last couple games, and obviously it got to us today. So, you know, we had a great season. One game is not going to define, you know, the you know the, the hard work and, you know, the um, all the accolades that our team has gotten, both for, as a team and as individuals. Um, certainly right now it's very disappointing, but... Um, it's certainly not going to take away from the accomplishments that these guys, you know, you know, to my left and everybody else that's in uh, in the locker room right now. So, yeah, it's a hard pill to swallow right now, but um, glad we got had an opportunity to come back, play for an announced championship, and I would expect us to be, you know, in the same spot next year. Okay, we'll open up for questions now for student athletes, and Kevin will start, then Joe. Yeah, Kevin Brockway, Gainesville Sun. For BT, um, you know, Jack in, in the first inning struck out the final two. He seemed like he was, you know, throwing the ball really hard in a really good groove. Uh, what, what changed in the second inning in your mind? Did you try to get him, you know, dial back in in the visits or what, what kind of unraveled there in the second firm? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, wasn't really our day all around. I think Zoe hit on that, but it wasn't our day. Joe. Uh, Joe Healy, D1 Baseball. For, for Josh and, and BT, just given that you both had opportunities after last season to, to move on and, and do something else but decided to come back, what is this run and, and making it back here and putting Florida back in the spot meant to you both? Uh, it's meant the world. Um, you know, and I, I thank the Lord Jesus Christ for allowing me and, you know, uh, Sully for allowing me to come back. Um, you know, it's meant the world to make this uh, a memorable run. And, um, yeah, I mean, we, we worked hard all off season. Um, we worked our butts off, you know, all year during the season. And, you know, it's nothing short but a blessing and, and just to, you know, be here and compete for a national championship. And, um, you know, I wouldn't choose anybody else to go to war with, you know, other than my brothers. Um, so, yeah, it's a tough pill to swallow, but um, it's, it's, you know, nothing but a blessing for sure. BT? Yeah, it was the easiest decision of my life to come back here last year. I mean, forever indebted to this program, uh, these coaches, these players. Um, it was just, it was seriously like a no-brainer. Honestly, it's been the best two years of my life, and uh, very grateful. Okay, next question. Jacob Rudner, 24-7 Sports. Uh, Wyatt, for you, I mean, this is also your your last time with this team. Just what, what did this year mean to you and, and you know, what, what's going through your mind? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously going through my mind right now, I'm pretty disappointed. But, um, I mean, I'm just thankful to be here. Uh, I'm thankful to have this opportunity and just to be able to play with these guys. Okay, Kevin again. Yeah, Kevin Brockway, Gainesville Sun. For any of the players, um, the foundation you guys laid, you know, it was five years since you guys, you know, got back uh, to the College World Series. You guys make a deep run. What, what do you think this is going to do for the future of the program? Who, anybody? Um, this is definitely going to inspire, you know, the, the next team to work harder than we did and um, especially just, you know, try to get back here next year. Um, I have no doubt in my mind, um, Ms. Sully and the rest of the coaching staff are going to bring in a good group of guys and, you know, they're going to be just as talented, uh, you know, if not more talented than we were this year. And, you know, that's it's just a testimony to how hard they work, you know, how hard we worked this year, and, um, you know, with our strength coach and all the coaches all around, you know, and uh, how we took it upon ourselves individually to come in day in, day out and just give it our all. So, I mean, I think they're going to learn a lot from that, especially with the guys that are coming back. And 
um, you know, those guys are just going to push the freshmen and, you know, the other younger guys to be uh, right back in this position next year. BT? I think uh, one thing that sticks out in my mind is, you know, Chuck always talks about how he's practically just a gatekeeper as a coach um, of this program. And it's really, uh, this program is really in the players' hands. And, um, you know, when you move on 10 years and you come back, it's like, do you want to see the players play as hard as you did and play the game the right way and play for the right reasons and with the right people? It's like, um, so when you talk about getting a program back on track, I know when I first got here, the program wasn't talked about very highly. It was in a bad place. And uh, I think one of the things I'm most proud about is I think, you know, this program is back to where it needs to be, uh, not only, you know, competing for championships, but um, it's it's made up of great people. It's made up of family men. It's made up of um, people that truly care about each other and, and, you know, play for something bigger than themselves. Uh, number one being Jesus Christ, I think, and then number two being Florida Gators, and three is the, the name on their back. So um, I think really everybody on this team's bought into that, and anybody else that comes in this program now, I think they're they're going to have a pretty good uh, understanding what, what they need to play for if they want to wear the F on their chest. Why? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think BT hit the nail on the head. I mean, uh, I feel like this older guy's kind of left a good foundation for all these younger guys and just having this experience for those guys and uh, knowing what to expect whenever a lot of us are gone. Okay. Nick Dalton's for Gators Online. Why, kind of on that note, what did those guys to your left and, and Brandon coming back this year, what did that do to the clubhouse and, and the kind of leadership that they provided for you and the younger players just this season? Yeah, it meant the world to all of us. I mean, having those fourth-year guys back that we really weren't sure they were going to come back, I mean, that, that meant everything to me, I know, and then I know it meant a lot to the other guys. So just having these guys and uh, being able to play beside them meant the world to me. We have time for one more question for the players. If not, guys, it was a great season. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Josh. Thank you. Thank you, BT. Thanks, Wyatt. Okay, questions for Sully, and we'll start with Kevin. Yeah, Kevin Brock with Angel Sun. Um, Coach, I guess I'll ask you a question similar to BT, just about Jack's first inning. You know, he comes out, he strikes out two. He looks like he's in a really good place. And what did you see in terms of him maybe unraveling in the second or what kind of transpired there in the inning? I don't know. I, you know, um, his bullpen was really good before the game. I thought our team was in a really good place. I thought BP, BP was good, in and out was good. They were loose. Um, you know, he put two on the board at the bottom half of the first. You know, why, you know, again, hits another home run. I thought the dugout was electric. And then all of a sudden, you know, we had four walks and I think two hit by pitches in the first two and two thirds innings. And. You know, then we had to go to the pen earlier than we wanted to. And honestly, I think, you know, after his first, I thought he was going to be dialed in. Um, don't really have an answer of what happened other than we lost control of the strike zone. And then, you know, you know, if you look at this the last three games that we played here, you know, we may not have gotten as much out of our starters that we probably needed to, quite honestly. So we had to go to our pen in the fifth and the third and now today the second. And when you start using the same pitchers in multiple games in the same weekend, so to speak, a three-game series, you can kind of get exposed a little bit. And I think we probably flirted with a little bit of fire with that. And knowing that today, that if that did happen where Jack kind of lost control of the strike zone and we had to go to the pen early, that was probably not going to be in our best interest, quite honestly. So there's a lot of things that kind of factor into it. But I just think that... We just we just didn't, you know, command you know the ball as well as we should have or could have. Okay, go back here to Victor. Jacob Runner, twenty four seven Sports. So the guys who were up there with you, just what what did their effort mean to you this year? Especially the guys who chose to come back and could have easily gone professional after last year. Yeah, I mean, there's some other guys that are that have had had a, maybe an opportunity to be up here too, but you know, each one of them has their own story, right? I mean. Wyatt had four at-bats his freshman year and he's turned himself, in my opinion, you know, 
you could flip a coin between him and Dylan Cruz. And that's my honest opinion. I think they're both tremendous players. They're going to have great careers moving forward. And then you got a, a guy like BT who um, was one of the very few transfer portal guys that we've had. He's evolved into one of the best leaders, human beings I know. I mean, you know, you guys all know his story that he's going to move on and this is his last game. And it's very emotional for him. And then a guy like Josh has been on our program for four years and you, you've seen him develop. Not only as a baseball player, you know, you could talk about the, you know, the hitting and the defense, but the maturity level, you know, and it's like, so each one of them have their own stories. So I, I may have a little different perspective. I'm just as disappointed as anybody, but you know, this, this will sting obviously when you're a competitor, but one game is not going to define, you know, the success we had in the season. That's, that's the bottom line. Get back here. Darren Stoltz, Fist West to Orlando. Kevin, just to, to go on this journey with this group, you, you kind of hit on it just there, but to be back here because of them, uh, what does that mean to you? Well, it, it, to me personally, um, of course, you love coming out here, you know, um, but it's really, it's really about the players and the staff, and I've been here enough. I know how special this place is and how hard it is to get here. A lot of these guys, this is the first time, you know, well, actually all of them, first time they've been here. So now they at least got a taste of it. But, um, yeah, it's just uh, it's just hard to get here. I mean, you go back and you look at, like, the regionals and how intense that was at home. We lost and we had to beat Texas Tech and, you know, um, and beat UConn. And then we play an SEC team that was playing really good and they finally got healthy at the end of South Carolina and it was electric at home. And, you know, we play Virginia and we got to come from behind, like, Played three one run games. We it was a tough one on Saturday late, and then and then obviously we had the game yesterday, and then today it just kind of got away from us. So yeah, it's it's been quite the journey, and you know, and I'm confident, you know, with the players that we got coming back and the new players we got coming in, you know, that we'll have an opportunity to come back out next year. Okay, Matt. Matty Ramos, White Miller Review. Can you sum up? Ty's week, you, know, you set the record for most home runs in the CWS and just felt like every time there was a big moment, he was the one making the swing. Yeah, it's, it's one of those stories you say, you tell, it'll be told next year. There'll be somebody else that starts the season as a starter that kind of struggles for whatever reason. And you just tell them to stay the course, keep working hard, quit, you know, keep being a good teammate. And when your opportunity does come again, you'll be ready for it. And I think that's just a, a really great example of what happened with Ty, you know, and, you know, it's, um, but it's easy to tell the, you know, to, to tell the story, but when you got somebody on your team, the other players have seen, now they, they, you know, they can see firsthand what you're trying to tell them. Okay, Jacob. Jacob, run 24 7 Sports. Uh, did, we asked the players just about the foundation that they maybe have set for, for next year and how this kind of sets up for you guys. Just what, what would you say about that? Yeah, I mean, anytime you come out, to the World Series and and how the runaway did, yeah, the foundation set, and and I I, I kind of struggle with the the program was in a tough spot or whatever. I mean, it's very hard to do this every year. So we go on the run for four years, fifteen through eighteen, and then obviously nineteen was a different year because we were younger, and then in twenty that was taken away from us because of COVID, right? And we were sixteen and one, and then then last year really started to pick up. St- speed again so it was really 19 that it was the year that we probably weren't as good as we wanted to be it was 20 we were but the season was shortened last year we hosted a regional at home when we were 6 and 12 in the league and we get things going again and then obviously this year is a different year so um yeah but you know these guys have certainly got us back to where we need to be and um Quite honestly, the, you know, the expectations are to get to Omaha and play for a national championship. And, you know, I, I, I personally love that challenge, and our players do too. And that's, that's just the culture that we have. Nick? Or, yeah, Nick. Nick Phillips, Hurry Gators Online. Um, Sully, just your thoughts on the, the fans that came out here and, and the way that the fans have kind of embraced not only these guys but the, the whole team this year. You talking about oh, Florida fans? Oh, yeah, it was great. It was great. I mean, I'll never forget yesterday after the game when they started playing Tom Petty. You know, it was really cool. I actually came out and took a video of it. You know, but to be a part of that was awesome. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's not 
it's not easy. I mean, the unknown if you're going to get here, and all of a sudden you got to make plans at the last second, flights and hotels, and so I do appreciate all the fans that came out because it's it's not only like time consuming, but it's it costs a lot of money to come out here too. So I mean, uh, but no, we certainly appreciate all the fans that came out and support us back at home as well. Okay, any more questions for Sally? If not, again, congratulations on. Thanks, I appreciate it.